Johnny Reynolds. We're doing the proper installation of condensate pumps on M&P series. First thing is your float switch. Installs on the back of the condensate drain coming from the drain pan. The next thing we're doing is installing a vent tube. And this vent tube is to help relieve a little bit of air when the unit pump shuts off. The next thing we're installing is a suction tube that goes to your pump. And the last thing we have is the uh, phone cord. Both the phone cord and the suction tube goes to your pump. And when you have this pump here, there's a direction on it, a float switch, tells you the direction it needs to go from suction from, discharge out of. But usually the discharge is used on the same side as the wiring. So here's your suction side. Here's your phone jack. It's just like a regular phone cord. Just plug it in the bottom of the pump. Pump always must be mounted vertically. Same thing with the arrow shows. The next step is wiring. And we do have two proper tools, a screwdriver and a wire stripper and a wire nut. And where we're going is right here to S1, 2, and 3. And we're going to take this cord right here that has five sets of wires on it. Three of them are your high voltage, two of them is your uh, contact switch. And you follow the same place the wire goes in from the power coming in from the outdoor unit. Once you push the wires up in there, just grab them, pull them up to where it's stripped back to make sure you get all your wires in. Okay? First step we're going to do is break the S1 wire because that's the wire that needs to be broken on, on safety. You're going to take the yellow wire, remove the black wire, install that yellow wire in its place because that yellow wire comes from your contact. Take that yellow wire and you're through with it. Now you're going to take the black wire from S1 Outdoor and you're going to take these two wires from your condensate pump. One is your contact closure, one is L1. The next thing we're going to do is connect these up. So we have three wires, S1 wire from outdoor, white wire from contact, blue wire for L1 on the pump, and we're through with S1. Now, the brown wire is your L2 for your pump, and what you have to do to it is apply it to S2, which will give you 208, 230. Now, check the continuity of the wires. They're all tight. No wire nuts, no loose. Now, connect your ground wire. The best thing to do is just grab it and twist it together because it's hard to get these wires under that terminal strip. So, now we're double checking our wires. S1 is on the contact, through your normally closed contact, being powered by S1 from outdoor. S2 from outdoor and your brown wires for your pump. So now your pump's wired up, ready to go, and S3 is not broken, you're breaking S1. Now, the next thing you do, if you get all, all this is correct and you're ready to power up, when you power up, add water in here on your evaporator. This fills up your drain pan. One cup will do. What happens next is when this float switch pops up, this pump will energize, pumping water out to wherever you decide to pump it to. Now this float switch has a vent on it. If when it pumps shuts off, a little bit of water will come back and needs to vent a little bit, but it's not going to come out. But you must have it mounted and installed there straight up. And after you do that, we check all the connections, hose connections, both ends of the check valve, discharge the check valve, suction side of the pump, discharge side of the pump to wherever you're going to the gravity drain at.
Once the pump drains out, you're going to do it twice to make sure you get good condensation flowing out of the system. And then you're going to recheck all your hoses and make sure there's no condensate drips anywhere on the system.